scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. There are many currencies that we were given to buy our possibilities in this realm. One of the hard currencies is relationships. There are seven of them. The cheapest and the weakest currency is Naira and dollars and pounds. If that is the only thing you have in your account to buy things, you are really poor. I always pray for my people that may you never be so poor that all you have is money. Can I tell you this? Relationship is profound wealth. In this kingdom, who hates you does not matter. But don't joke with who likes you. Oh king, you love Hadassah, she becomes queen immediately. The king hated the baker in three days he died. It was not God that killed him. Who hates you may not be an issue, but who likes you? Listen, this is where many believers do not understand the power of relationships. Our loved ones and the elderly have taught us the power, the economic, spiritual, sociological value of relationships. As I conclude, let me ask you a question. Is there anybody in your life today who thinks you are such a big deal that you can call upon and you can guarantee that the person will respond to you? Is there someone today, if you are in a financial need, you can call him and say sincerely, this is my house rent and he says over my dead body not when I'm with you can I tell you you are sitting on a time bomb if there is no such person in your life believe me when I tell you dear people of God is there someone who you can wake by 2 a.m. and is not embarrassed he says if it's for you I can go that far many of us keep running alone I have the Holy Ghost yes you are right but you have to understand that the way God works is that all blessings come from God through men to men. Don't forget this. All blessings come from God through men to men. If God says yes and the middle man says no, the yes remains in the realm of the spirit while you suffer on earth. I have learned the value of quality destiny relationships. Nobody in this church under this high level unction should be without quality relationships because your man of God and the woman of God, this is, this is one of the core areas of grace. They've taught you things. Many of you get cheaply what other people pay for to learn. Don't abuse it because it came free. Listen to this word of caution I tell you. I said this to your pastor yesterday. I also said it to the woman of God. Chances are excellent that when something is very available, you can cheapen it. Learn to protect and preserve the wisdom that comes from these people. They are gifts not only to you, but to the body of Christ. Are you, are you following now? Please learn relationships. Relationships are investments. Next time they ask you to list all your investments, don't list land alone. Land does not talk to you. Land cannot love you. 
land cannot move from where it is to where trouble is meeting you but there are men who can move that there must be someone in your life who says provided i am alive your children will never beg for bread there are people who relationship is a stream of income for them there are preachers who are alone aside from god there is no human vessel who believes in you enough no i love everybody but i don't commit the same level of energy and vigor to everybody there are people who have taken out time to invest in my relationship with them people families. i will be stupid and even foolish to generalize relationship and invest the same kind of energy go back and stratify your relationships who are the top five people who have shown you honor in your life don't you treat them the same way with everyone no I love everybody sincerely but not everybody means the same thing to me as far as relationship is concerned there are people who will never see you cry except they are not alive there are people who will never see you hungry please let me tell you this when you find people in your life who love you to stretch that far I want you to take note of them and invest into that relationship is one of the lessons that I learned having the privilege of access to our fathers of faith in this nation. My goodness, my God. There are a few relationships those people have in their life that are almost magnetic. They, the formidability of their destiny relationships is unbendable. There are some of you, God forbid, if your house gets burnt, you will sit down outside because there is nobody who loves you enough to say, I can't let your children cry. You don't have to get everything by working for it yourself. Relationships are a leverage. Tap into it. There are two keys to relationships among the many that you will learn. Number one is honor. You can't dishonor people and expect them to be indefinitely committed to you. No. Honor is the ability to discern, celebrate, and reward people for their uniqueness. Don't trivialize people and expect commitment from them. Don't trivialize your pastor and the woman of God and expect them to continue investing. If you ask your pastor and ask the woman of God, they love everybody. You are all their children spiritually and they have been committed to you. But let me tell you sincerely, how you know you are special is when your absence means a lot to the people. If your absence does not mean anything, it means your presence is not adding much. There are people, if they don't come to church on Sunday, more than 50 people will call them. What happened? You are too significant to be ignored. There are others, it's after two months. Somebody will say, where is that noisy person who doesn't listen? As soon as they say, make up your mind that you will be a blessing to someone. Don't come to church and ignore people or don't wait until you see people who have a a a persona that communicates wealth then you now respect them because you saw the designers you saw the shoes and the watch someone who will be sitting close to you who can buy anything you think about can just be as simple as possible and they say turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor may god bless you or i need you you don't know that's your job you are supposed to just turn and say i need you and the person will say see me tomorrow but pride for nothing can make you close the remaining 10 years of your life want to speak over your life listen to me these are truths that have come to you from heaven to change your life the decision to invest in quality relationships write it down who are the 10 most important people in my life that I need to truly commit to you love everybody but who are they who are they? Who are they? Who are the people that love me sincerely and truthfully? Not just for what they will get. People who will cry with you. There are four kinds of men you will need in your life. Let me take one minute to share this with you. Number one, you need divine connectors. 
Divine connectors do not have what you are looking for, but they know who has it. You need them. The key to receiving from divine connectors is discernment. Because most times they do not come in a form that is desirable. For instance, the slave girl and Naaman. If Naaman ignored her and said you are a dirty slave girl, he would have remained leprous for the rest of his life. Pay attention to divine connectors. They may look weak. They may look unintelligent. They may not seem to fit your status. But they carry something, a road map that can lead you. The slave girl could not heal Elisha, but she could point him to the prophet who could heal him. When you enter the bus tomorrow, don't laugh at the conductor. Look at the poster he's holding. It may be a business seminar that answers your prayer. Divine connectors do not even know they are divine connectors. Number two, you need in your life men of influence. They are called gatekeepers. They are the ones who control systems and structures. You need their credibility and you need their endorsement. There are times, oh Joseph, you have the power to interpret the dreams, but you do not have access to the king's palace. You will need to depend on who is already in the palace to speak for you. These are the wisdom keys that believers do not know. Can I tell you this? It matters who speaks good of you at the gates. You must trust God that he positions you. One person's signature can be the leverage that lifts you. Many years ago when I was in Zaria, there was a, a, a very popular story. Someone who wanted to go to um, NDA and they said the person was too short and they could not take him. So he went to the then Amir who was alive and reported it and said they refused to take me that they said the height requirement, I didn't meet it. The Amir said, go back to the commandant and tell him the Amir has added your height. Say relationships. That's right. Is there someone who can walk in partnership with the Holy Ghost to add your height? Every rule on earth was put by man. Under a certain condition, it can bend. There are positive compromises that happen at the instance of relationships. Number three, you need gifted people in your life. You don't just need loyal people, you need results. And there are times you need gifted people. Gifted people. There are corporations today who are spending millions of naira and dollars servicing people who are not gifted. The best corporations in the world have mastered the art of piecing together gifted people. And then number four, you need burden bearers. The fourth kind of people you need in your life. Burden bearers do not have the power to move you forward. But they are the ones who stop you from going back. You need such people. Woe betide any man and any leader who does not have a burden bearer in the day of adversity. When Jesus was on the cross, even though so many people ran away, there were a few people who stood. His mother and John. Many leaders today die of heart attack. They die of neglect and pain because they feel they invested into so many people and at their down times in life, there was no one to stand with them. Pray for these four groups of people. Every time you are praying that God should connect you to the ministry of men. Among others, these are the four classes of people you should cry for. Divine connectors men of influence gifted people and burden bearers jesus would never have gotten to the cross if joseph um, simon of cyrene was not there jesus would never be buried in a virgin tomb if joseph of arimathea did not donate his tomb have you learned something tonight please rise up on your feet Thank you for your patience with me. We're about to wrap up. Pray one prayer. Lord, now that I have heard these things, I obtain the grace. I obtain the grace to make these six qualifications. Open your mouth and begin to pray.
open your mouth and begin to pray please pray I'm about to speak over your life pray is someone praying for the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom I choose the way of the Lord for the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom I choose the way of the Lord for the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. Lord, my life is changing by the power of the decisions that I have learned to make. In the name of Jesus, I will never be small. I am rising from one level of grace to the other. I am rising from one level of victory to the other. One level of results to the other. Is someone praying? You are declaring this over your life. Indeed, this will be the year of the Lord for me. The manifestation of the power and the possibilities that are resident within the Christ. I receive this from God. Hallelujah. Please receive every prophetic word that I declare for you. We wrap up. Let it be from the depth of your heart. I pray that everyone here who is down spiritually, you started 2022 down in your prayer life, down in your word study life, your passion and your drive for the things of God. In the name of Jesus, I fan the fires of your spiritual life to flames now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, the discipline it takes to stay and acquire superior knowledge that transits you mentally in the name that is above all names. May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. I'm praying for you that anyone here who has the spirit of death hanging over them, hanging over their families by the blood of the eternal covenant, I decree and declare death is far from you, far from your children, far from your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray over your finances. I know many of you have seen the tides and from the signs that happen from all the economic indices it seems to be that the year may not be a pleasant one but was it not when darkness came upon Egypt that there was light in Goshen I decree and declare by the mystery of exemption the, and the power that raised Christ from the dead may this year be about your most prosperous year By the prophetic, I connect you to strategic destiny helpers. In the name of Jesus, I knock on the gates of systems and structures and I command them to open for your sake. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Wherever the helpers of your destiny are, the men and women anointed by God, to hold your hands as you rise to the next level. I prophesy that wherever they are, in Lagos here, or across the 36 states of this nation, the continents of Africa, wherever they are, by prophecy, I connect them to you. 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 I prayed it in the mainland, let me pray it here. There is a grace for speed in the name that is above all names where you have been moving slow it looks like you are not making progress by the power that raised Christ from the dead may that grace come upon you to accelerate you may that grace come upon you to accelerate you one year in one month in the name of Jesus Christ hear me Whoever has ignored you, I call upon my God who is also your God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I place an unction on your life. 
they will never be able to ignore you again hear me there are many of you here you have been the lifting of many people you were part of their success stories but they've forgotten about you i open the book of remembrance tonight and i decree and declare for your investments in the life of men corporations nations may you be remembered for good in the name of jesus christ and finally i end my voice with the man of god and the woman of god to speak over your life that everything that makes for your lifting and your excelling david christian center i pray for you the workers the the deacons all who are part of the workforce i decree and declare go from glory to glory to glory in the name of jesus christ when men say there is a cast down i speak over you that you will say there is a lifting up in the name of jesus christ your wine and your corn and your oil will not famish in the name of jesus christ hear me anybody who fights you goes down instantly in the name of jesus christ let this be the year that you see the favor of god in unprecedented dimensions in the name of jesus christ may the lord bless you may the lord increase you in jesus name Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salas kade bash kana kata branda kate katos kate branda kata pakotos koto breka teke ne kata. The face of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.